Hey everybody, welcome to another tutorial from North Brothers. My name is Norm Reynolds and today I'm going to show you a couple of ways how to upscale your video from 720 to 1080. This video's intro sequence was shot in 120 frames per second on the Canon EOS R. As some of you may know, at 120 frames per second, the EOS R only shoots at 720. That means if you're shooting a vlog in 1080 and you want to pepper in some 120 frame per second B-roll in there, you're going to cap out at 720 and you're probably going to find the results jarring. Nobody wants that. I don't want that. Do you want that? No, of course you don't. Did you say you wanted that? Get off my channel. Get! I'm just kidding. I don't care. So how are we gonna take that delicious 120 frame per second video, stuff it into our little vlog without making people's eyes pop out? So let me show you two ways to make your 720 into 1080 footage. We're gonna pop into Premiere Pro. You can see that I've got a couple sequences open here already. That's because I did the leg work ahead of time. So I've pre-cut my sequence because I already know what I want it to be. The first method is to just let Premiere take care of it. I've got my clips dropped into a 720p sequence. All I've got to do is select my beginning point and my end point. Now that we have everything in our timeline selected, we're just going to export it. So make sure you've got your timeline box selected. We're going to hit Control M and that is going to generate our export settings. So the preset is to match source high bitrate. That's not what we want today because we want to bump that stuff up to 1080. Let's uh, just go ahead and hit high quality 1080 HD. You'll want to use maximum render quality, render at maximum bit depth. We want to select VBR2 pass just to help ensure there's not gonna be any glitches on the export. And now we export. And just like that, we're exporting. All right, so now that we have that, was anybody paying attention where I exported it to? All right, now that that's exported, let's import it. Pop over to media browser, find the target location, which I very conveniently had pulled up, select the file, and let's import. Now let's look at it now. That's not half bad, huh? Now I know what you guys might be thinking. What's method number two? I knew you would ask, and you know why? because I told you there was two methods earlier and I only gave you one. So in our second example, we're gonna be using After Effects to produce, in my opinion, a better result. Now for this method, you're gonna to wanna to bring your 720 clips into a 1080 sequence. So you can see that my 720 clip doesn't quite fill up the whole 1080 timeline. Now rather than stretching it to make it work, what we're gonna do is we're gonna select all of our clips in our timeline, right click it, we're gonna nest that sequence. Uh, we'll just call it, we'll call it B-roll. That's easy. Now that that's nested, go ahead and right click it again. And this time, we're gonna replace with an After Effects composition. After Effects, I summon thee. You're gonna wanna find a good home to save that. Pro tip, if you don't already have an organized workflow, you're holding yourself back. Now that we've got our clip pulled into After Effects, we're gonna drop an effect on it. What's that effect, you might ask? We're gonna be dropping detail preserving upscaling onto it. So we'll just slide on over here to our effects and presets and just start typing in detail. Look at that. Boom, boom. And I uh, wanna scale that up to 150. Now we can see it's filling out that whole frame, which is great. Here's the magic part. We're gonna make it look a, a lot better than it already did. Reduce the noise by, let's say, let's say 30%. How does that look? It's a little noise here, so I'm gonna bump that up a little bit further. I'm pretty happy with that. Just go ahead and save that, and we can close our After Effects, and we can see that our footage now takes up the full frame. Mission accomplished. We're gonna have to render this. Render into out, which we'll let it do its thing. All right, and now that's all finished as render. Let's see what we're left with. And that's all there is to it. Easy peasy. All we have to do now is throw some adjustment layer over it, hit it with a sick music track, and then we get this. That is it for today. I hope this tutorial helps you up your video editing game. If there's something you want to see, let us know. We want to know about it so we can help you. If you liked what you saw here today, hit that like button, knock that subscribe button and the bell to see more content from us and to get notified when we post it, and have yourselves a lovely day.
Catch you next time. Mm-hmm.